Namibia's early response to COVID-19 has been lauded as remarkable, especially the fact that the country has not registered any death yet. The Center for Disease Control says the effective pandemic management is benchmarked on appropriate control of movement of persons, acceptance to wearing of masks in public, and the Ministry of Health's ability to investigate every case. So that quarantine and testing and contact tracing can be used as effective tools against this. So to me, uh, I believe that these three factors will determine what the next few months look like. And then we'll also be able to greatly reduce the price that Namibia pays in lives to this virus going forward. Uh, it's hard to know what the future looks like, though. It's hard to predict when the peak of our uh, outbreak will be. But part of that is for a very good reason. This early stage is also when this pandemic is the most easily influenced by our actions. For now, government is seeking to expand the targeted testing and active case search as opposed to mass and compulsory testings. Its call instead is that anyone with symptoms of dry cough, high fever and shortness of breath avoid public places and seek medical attention immediately. While COVID-19 may remain in our midst and in our communities for the foreseeable future, we must do everything to keep it out of our homes and out of our lives by playing strict health and hygiene precautions. Our collective endurance is being tested and we must summon the strength to persevere. There is no need to play a blame game. But non-compliance with health protocols has been observed in various towns. There were incidences of people escaping from quarantine facilities, gatherings of people with overstimulated numbers, and alcohol consumption during restricted periods. The views were shared during the COVID-19 update at State House. Blanche Gores, NBC News.